on this. Hey, Ken, good morning. Uh, on yeah, it. you know, I think what's been carrying Biden so far uh -huh. is a perception among older voters and traditional uh, mainstream Democrats that he's the most electable and uh, the most experienced and uh, the wiser older statesman. However, if older voters begin to realize how big a part Biden played in creating right. the current mess, he's not going to make it to the nomination. And, you know, it isn't just in terms of uh, his role in the Obama administration as vice president. This goes way back throughout his whole Senate career. Uh, he was you know, in place when Bill Clinton and company were making all these decisions favoring corporations and the outsourcing right. of jobs, the gutting of the American economy, other uh, consumer issues where the corporations were getting more and more power over the middle class. So mm -hmm. he has all that baggage. And as that's pointed out, he'll lose the support of even the older voters and the older traditional Democrats. Now, it's kind of tricky for the candidates because in some of these earlier debates, the first few debates, right. they went on the attack with Biden, but they were too shrill about it. And it seemed like they were overdoing it and they were attacking the, the, this uh, stately old man. And it seemed unfair. And some of the attacks were unfair. They're really mm -hmm. off the, the, the mark, the central issues. But if they get smart about it and keep pointing out how he was on board and a main part of the creation of what we're struggling with now, then I don't see him making it to the nomination. Right. Well, what about, I mean, what about his sort of hanging on the uh, coattails of Obama? I mean, is that going to help him or hurt him? I mean, well, you know, he's peace. That a yeah. lot. But as That's not going to work. Some of these reports. Right. You know, the Obama legacy is now being brought more and more into question. And again, right. you know, it has to do with this economy, let alone the continuation of these crazy wars in the Mideast, the continuation and, and actually the strengthening of the Patriot Act, which involves uh, civil liberties, right. civil rights, and you know the the, the, the uh, uh, Bill of Rights, uh, and um, you know again, as people become aware of that, that this current mess was created not just by Republicans but with the consent and sometimes the lead of Democrats, then Elizabeth Warren gets strengthened. And you'll notice now. Uh, she's just come out with her plan how she would pay for Medicaid. Pay for it, right. It seems reasonable. to make sense. Yeah, it seems reasonable. You know, up until yeah. now, it seemed, you know, kind of pie in the sky. Right. And also, until now, she wouldn't take a, when she was asked a, a million different times about, will this raise middle class taxes? She avoided that. I right. think now she's regrouped. She's set out this plan that seems workable without raising taxes. So right. that's why she could say now directly answer that question that she's right. been avoiding. No, it right. will not raise taxes. So right. I think she's in good shape with this. And what about Budishek? What do you, how do you feel where he's you know, at? It's surprising that the strength that he has and, yeah. uh, and you know, coming out of nowhere, yeah. uh, if she, the mayor of a, 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 of a town. You know? But I think it's because <laughs> he also mm -hmm. seems genuine and analytical. And right. you know, it amazes me that an openly gay candidate for president who would bring in and who would be bringing in a first man rather than first lady to the White House? Yeah, it's acceptable. It's because he's not coming off as radical. He's coming off as actually middle of the road and analytical and smart about things. And um, so I think this shows how much the public will accept any candidate with any yeah. kind of personal background, any kind of sexual orientation, if they sound reasonable. If they don't sound off the wall crazy and strident, I mean, and I at least at right. least Democrats, though, anyway, progression yeah. of, of, of the of the mental state of the population. But I mean, at least Democrats. I mean, I, I think I think I could see Trump really uh, working on working him over in terms of his. Almost yeah, like, I mean, you know, he he called him Alfred E. Newman can't be watching yeah. president. <laughs> but a judge has to know who Alfred E. Newman is. Yeah. It's not his generation, it's our right. generation. Exactly. Right. So he'll try to ridicule him, but I think that'll backfire too on, on Trump back. because, yeah. you know, people, they're going to see him as picking on, on a nice guy, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. It will work better with the other candidates, sleepy Joe Biden and yeah. maybe Pocahontas to a certain yeah. extent. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, if Elizabeth Warren becomes a nominee, She's going to hold her own well in debates. With in the, the debates, president. yeah. The well, last question, then. Roll right over her. 
And what about Kamala? She's finished, you think? I think she's out of the, out she's of the running. Soon, yeah. And again, I think it's because she came off as too strident in the beginning, and her positions yeah. were a little bit uh, too radical for the, yeah. the common taste. Yeah. Uh, so I don't see her uh, re-emerging. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Sanders, you know, I still think, you know, he, he's got all the goods and uh, the right ideas, but... Again, you know, he, he's now wedded to his statements that he will raise middle class taxes, but in yeah. exchange, you'd be yeah. paying less. But, you know, that doesn't sell well. You know, it's sell. what yeah. the public is going to grab onto is a reasonable yeah. approach that isn't going to cost him more money. And, yeah. and Warren is now coming out with this formula. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. this, this could be um, uh, effective for her. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. All right, sir. Well, thank you. And we'll uh, talk tomorrow. All right, Ken. Talk okay. to you. Bye bye. Bye now.